We're here at the M restaurant where the event is going to take place. And with me is Jimmy of Koi Clothing. Jimmy, how are you doing today? I'm good, thanks. G, how are you? I am fantastic, thank you. So Jimmy, tell me about yourself and what are you all about? So my name is Jimmy. I'm the co-founder of Koi Clothing. Um, so what we do is we combine authentic African fabric with luxury lifestyle. Mm -hmm. um, and we also support the communities of Kenya through every, every sale. Yeah. So how exactly do you support them through every sale? What do you do? Do you donate some money? What do you do? So we, we do 5% of every sale, 5% of every purchase. Okay. Um, we, so we get our inspiration from different cultures and we want to value that inspiration with the 5%. So, and we have different projects within each, within each culture that we're working on. For example, with the Maasai. Mm -hmm. um, so this, this jacket I'm wearing is the Maasai jacket. It's sort of the Very flagship nice. product of the Maasai collection. Um, we also do belts and, and shirts and, and various things. And um, the idea is that their, their inspiration in this, in this collection, mm -hmm. we want to value that and say thank you for, thank you for the inspiration. We just don't, we don't want to take it and not give back. So, you know, we think you deserve, you deserve some of it. Um, and we, at the moment, we're helping with education within the Maasai themselves. Um, so we've, you know, we've, we've sent a, a child to school and various things and we've only been trading for a year. So it's going, yeah, oh, going really nice. well. Yeah. Well done, well done. Thank you. So tell me, in your views, what is your, what do you think about the representation of African wear in Western culture? Um, I think it's growing. I, I think it's getting popular. I think it's, mm -hmm. it, you know, in the, in the media and, and in film, it's really strong. Mm -hmm. um, I think it could be valued a lot, a lot better. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's, it could, it can tend to be exploited, mm -hmm. you know, and I, and I think people want to value that inspiration. Well, should value that inspiration, you know, is it, you know, wh where's that beautiful design come from? Where's that beautiful fabric come from? You know, and, and you know, that, that sort of thing. And I think that's really important. I think cultural appropriation is the word I'm looking for there. Yeah. Fantastic. If you could change one thing in the fashion industry, what would it be? You know, I, actually the, the size zero you actually, you mentioned mm -hmm. uh, um, earlier when we were, we were chatting, yeah. I, I think that's a, that's a, it's a delicate question, but yeah. you know, I, I think, I think you know, balance and a healthy lifestyle is very important. But I think when you represent that, it's 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 not for what for a guy. I don't think that's, mm -hmm. I don't think that's sexy. I, I don't think that's, oh, um, that's you know, I, I think it's you know, there's a, a balance. And I think that about fashion, I, I don't really like. Okay. You know, um, yeah, that, that, that maybe that's yeah, that's, that's off, off the point, off the off the cuff answer. Yeah, brilliant. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was Jimmy of Quay Clothing.